Hey friends, I wanna show you my current, one of my current favorite daily carry bags. I just did a everyday carry dump at Huckberry. Link to that below, it was a fun video. I share some stuff there that I won't share here, but I wanna show you what I brought to them for the most part in this bag. Now this is the packed 22 liter everyday carry bag. It's got a luggage pass-through. It's made with, up to now, my, my favorite, very favorite of all time, recycled material. There's a massive reason why to take plastic bottles and single-use plastic and all sorts of things that we've used before and make fabric out of. But up to now, the material hasn't felt very good. This feels Awesome. Gritty and dry in some ways, but I like the way that it warps and wefts, the way that it drapes. It's just one of those materials that you know when you when you like you feel it, you're like, oh, what's that? And it's super eco-conscious. Pact is one of the brands that I trust the most about that kind of stuff. Now, we've got a bottom front pocket and a top taco pocket. First, I'm gonna talk about this bottom front pocket. The taco pocket's like one of my favorites. But the bottom front, I've got my Fuji X100F in there. This is my favorite camera for taking pictures of the family. Thing is small, I've got it on a little uh, thing like this. It's like a little thing, like this. I just got it around my back. I'm not worried about it. Pull it up, I've got what I need to. I can even look through the screen. It just has a magic to it because I use the chrome film filter thing, mode. And I just print straight to JPEG. I connect my phone to this. It just goes straight into my phone. I don't pull it into Lightroom and touch anything up ever, ever. I just bing, click, 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 click. Everything's on auto. It's easy. Now, why do I love this bottom front pocket? There are so many bags that you're going to find that have this bottom front pocket, okay? It's one of the more common things on across all daily carry bags and even travel bags. Now they were just like, oh, what are we gonna do with up here? We're gonna, we're gonna segment this for more accessible, quicker access tech stuff. What are we doing here? Well, let's just put a bottom, front, flat pocket. They're typically shitty to get in and out of. This pocket is actually usable. This bag is completely packed out right now. And you can see this has its own dimension built into it. And in there, I've got, I've got snakes. We've got snacks. This is all stuff left over from my trip to South Africa that I thought I was gonna eat on the plane. But this works, pardon my French. It's like voodoo when you find a bag that has this kind of pocket that you actually use. Because for the most part, they're all flat, they're a bitch to get into, bitch to get out of, so you're just putting stuff in there, like snacks, that you might need, but you probably won't. You tend to forget whatever's in there. But here, I can actually throw. Okay, then we have got the top taco pocket. I call it a taco pocket, because it opens like this, has some gussets, right? We've got a little gusseting down here, plops open, and you've got great sort of visibility on everything. Here I just throw in my, uh, oh I have a notebook in there too, but I throw in my charger for my laptop. I open this up, I've got my charger of the laptop, I got my little dongle in case I need it, maybe my AirPods Pro, but probably not. Probably won't be needing those because I'll show you why in a minute. And I've got a battery that has USB mini, USB-C, and uh, and lightning on here, and then this whole thing just plugs into the wall. And a fun little sticker from Father Ted. Careful now, down with this sort of thing. Inside this tech pocket, two things. Number one, we got a magnet. It's like stronger than it needs to be. Every once in a while you'll hear it clip and you're like, oh, I like that. I tend not to use this little pot. That, that's, where I put my, that's where I put my battery back there. Clip right around it, bam. And then you also have a mesh pocket with a zipper and a keychain leash. Nice to just keep stuff up and out of the way, right? Away from that main inner compartment here where you've got about two inches of dimension. This is my favorite tech pocket for the most part up to date for two reasons, that dimension and then this zipper throw. 
See how it's like a horseshoe? I can't, I, I can't overstate how nice it is when you're not going clank and then you have to like readjust your hands to get around the corner and then get around the other corner. This is just, you know? This is one of my favorite things about this bag is it was designed for that kind of super easy. That's the main compartment, laptop compartment. Super easy. I actually do like these zip poles right here. Just a little piece of paracord. It's a little gently branded packed, uh, like a little, it's like a metal piece on the edges. I like these. Now we've got double water bottle pockets that gusset out real wide and you can throw even larger sorts of wide things in there pretty well because the gussets work great. I left my I left my water bottle somewhere. Now, no mesh back here. You do have a luggage pass through. I actually love this. I love this just like this. This feels kind of military grade and nice. This mesh is very like durable. It does not feel like your cheap everyday kind of mesh. Somehow it feels more little hook handle here and then a bigger hook handle right here. Bigger, like softer. You've even got some clips for carabiners and throwing on some stuff, side handles as well. And then a bike lock uh, or a bike light down here as well as a bottom handle. A lot of, a lot of shit, you know, a lot of like little things, but look, it, does, it just looks really, oh, look, it just looks really chill. You know, but you've got all these different sort of like Bips and bops and features and clips and claps. Now, this laptop compartment, I just throw my laptop in like so, all right? But it does have a like laptop spot with a bib that you can cover it with. It gives it a, like a tiny little bit more coverage over the top. Let me know in the comments why you would do that. I don't know why anybody would do that personally. That's just speaking from my experience. And then a little tablet sleeve, and then you can have some space for, uh, if I put my laptop in this little guy, I keep my little hard drive on there, but if I, if I wanted extra space, like private space for like, Papers. Like business papers, man. Now the main compartment is a half zip. So we go to there, the top pocket, whatever you have in here typically can fold right down, which is nice. That's nice. And then you've got a sort of, you know, a nice visual in on your bag. Now, one of the things I showed to Huckberry, this is not what I typically carry with me every day. Let me get all these out. But I wanted to show uh, show like my notebooks that I'm currently actively in right now. These are the notebooks that I'm currently actively in right now, actually including this and this one which I keep with me currently. This is just about full. First of all, I'll start with these. These are the Field Notes Expedition. If you've seen my videos in the past, you've seen me talking about these. The Expedition from Field Notes is waterproof and tearproof paper. So you literally can throw it in your pocket and it will not turn to shit on you. You can totally beat it up. This is a little micro pen I got on Amazon, which works great. And these are sort of thoughts on uh, future videos, not bag and product related videos, more like uh, men's coaching kinds of videos. This is the Nemo scene. It's a wire notebook, so it lays super flat, okay? I throw, uh, my lists of like things that I want to shoot this week or things that I want to do and in here I keep my mark two from um, Studio neat. All right. This is such an incredible like Listen to this That's when it, you pull it out of the base. All right, 
Then, listen to this. You hear that chunk in? That's magnets. I do this all the time. Ugh. Small in the hand, like really small in the hand, made to be like a pocket uh, sort of pen. Uh, I tend to leave it open like so in here because I just, I just love the heft and the weight of this thing. Here's their Mark I pen, which is, I actually prefer to write with this. I totally prefer to write with this one. This thing's incredible. The Mark I, there's nothing on it. It's just the best. They completely designed the click mechanism. It's all metal. This thing's like a 100-year pen. Um, but it doesn't have a clip. It does not have a clip. And you can get accessory clips from other companies that go on there. And I used to have one, but I lost it. So I'm back at my Mark II. Again, this is just like lists of things to do. This ends up being probably the most essential notebook for me. And I don't know why I like it so much with the wire bound and the plastic cover, the paper feels good. This is great. I'll be linking to all of this below. This and this are from Baron Fig. This is their like, like lightweight one, which I love. I actually love the size. I love the paper quality of like the outside. It's sort of cardboardy. This one is bigger and I'm using this one for, you know, like long form journaling, writing things out with a few sort of graphics here and there, which I like, but it's a little bit big. It's a little bit big. Part of me likes that. I've also made a little, um, I just like taped on a little holster for this Lamy Safari because I'm liking writing with a fountain pen. This pen's great for that. But I'm actually, I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna even wait to fill this whole thing up or switch over to what these guys just launched. Studio Neats Keep Book, they call this now. And I don't know if you can see just the little emboss right here feels great. The cover, it's not leather. It's smoother than that, but it does have this like living kind of quality, very rigid frame, I love that. And it lays completely flat. Let's go to like a, it lays super flat. So in terms of like doing my morning pages and like writing things out, I think I'd prefer this size, probably. And then th these come with a, a little archival box, which is nice. Then an, actually another one from Studio Neat, which is their Pano book. This was designed to fit right between you and your laptop, so you're working from it. And I actually turn it this way and work this way with it. I end up like having this be my first page on a project that can go down into here if I need it to. So I tend to leave one of these blank. And I don't know, just the form factor of vertical, narrow, it comp it, I'm thinking completely differently. I don't know if that happens to you. And I love how rigid and stiff the cardboard is on the outside of this thing. So there's some notebooky shit. If I'm actually carrying daily carry, I'll probably just have this. Then I like to have a book with me. This is uh, the latest one that I'm into. It's called Progressive Stages of Meditation on Emptiness by Kenpo Tsultim Gyamso Rinpoche. And this is the dude we're working with here. This is this guy. Uh, this came as a recommendation from Duncan Trussell. And man, it is a, it feels like you're getting tuned up reading this book, for sure. But I like to have a book with me. Anything that can get me away from the phone a bit, you know, feels, feels smart. And as far as meditation books go, this is one of the more advanced I've ever gotten into, but also one of the most approachable. Then I've got my headphones. These are the Focal Batiste or Batiste. All right, this was a gift from headphones.com. These are just the best. You pay for them. I don't know what they're at right now. Probably like 500 bucks, 600 bucks. Um, USB-C, over ear, active noise canceling, Bluetooth, 25 plus hours to the battery. USB-C, plug it directly into my computer with this little cable right here, which I always keep in this box, and I can charge while I listen to, 
to what I'm doing. So whenever I'm at the cafe, whenever I'm out at some other office, whenever I'm traveling on a plane, I've got these on, USB into my computer, and these are charging while I'm listening to whatever I'm editing on the computer. Works great, zero latency, uh, super good Bluetooth noise canceling, incredible sound for actually listening to music. Call quality's great, uh, I dig it. And you've got this little cord in case you're actually on a plane. So it's a big chunk in my bag. It takes up a lot of space, but it's worth it to me. A couple final things. My phone and case. I'm still using this Bellroy Mod 3 card case. You can see it's got some patina going here. Definitely, uh, definitely use the fuck out of this, this one. But it's three cards, all right? That's it. Three cards in there. And uh, and then this mod case actually comes off. So if I'm someplace where there's a MagSafe charger, I can actually do that quite simply. And every time I take it off, I'm like, ooh, I wish I carried it without the wallet more often. But because I'm just terrified of losing my wallet, I always leave that on. And I don't wanna ever have to leave the house and be like, oh no, I forgot my wallet. I just have one thing. I can't even turn on my Tesla without this, right? So. Uh, redundancies. So right now, this is my everyday carry, all right? This is what I roll with. And the snacks, there's like a lot more snacks than the normal. The book changes in and out. I love to have my camera with me. These notebooks, like I said, I don't carry all these. Typically, it'll be like something like this, because I do like to use the panel book to workshop ideas. Whenever I'm in that creative mode, getting out of the computer, and onto something physical and just fucking around with something. Just, blah, 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 blah. Just, push, just push ink around a page for a little bit and see what we come up with. Be, having something I can just turn pages and go. I don't have to be really precious about uh, like, well, I can't write in my moleskin, eh? Unless they have a really good idea of something to write. <laughs> you know, you're like feeling yourself as you write in your journal like, oh, that's so good. Like, let's put that in the in the good journal. <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. All right, that's it for this one. I'll link to everything below that that I dig. If you if you buy something from this, please use my links, like uh like the notebooks from Baron Fig or Studio Neat, the pen. Um, I'll link to things like my drive slide that I use to keep my uh, to keep my hard drive just right there on my laptop, which is great. You can see the Velcro from what I've done before. Now. It's the drive slide, which is uh, which is pretty nice actually. Good work if you can get it. Okay, I'll link below to also to that Huckberry video once that's out because uh, I'm talking through the the same kind of stuff. But they asked me some different questions and then I share something very different in the end, which was kind of fun. I, I was I was kind of nervous to share it, but it was uh, you know gives you a little gives you a little lens into my life. All right, folks, that's it. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Be your, honestly, be yourself. Everyone else actually is taken. You know, there's nothing that you are trying to do on this planet more than to inhabit your own skin and love it. To enjoy being you. To turn up the, the like frequency and feeling of being yourself. To to, listen, it, it, like this whole self-love thing. If you can actually care about yourself, when I write things in this to-do note thing, I'm almost always scared because I feel like I'm gonna let myself down. Like I'm going to write down more than I can do. And then I'm gonna feel bad that I didn't do more. The difference between that and Well, what's the, what, what's the other thing? If I wasn't doing that, what would I be doing? If you weren't on your ass about what you didn't get done, about who you haven't become yet, what would you be doing? Maybe I'll leave you with that. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Bye!